Do you ever get a situation where it's either this or this and you have to decide, should I do this or should I do this? And, and you don't really know which one to do. This video is gonna give you a method that will help you to figure out when it's this or this, which decision should you make? In this segment of which mistake would you rather make, we're gonna look at the question of, should I take my camera bag into the store where I'll be inconvenienced by carting it around in the shopping cart, or should I leave it in the car where I may return from the store to find the camera missing? Can, can you actually find something missing? If it was missing, wouldn't that actually mean you didn't find it? What, but So I come back from the store and my camera's gone. That, that's, that's really what I meant. Which mistake would you rather make? As for me, I think it's pretty obvious. Suppose you're walking down a hallway and suddenly you hear a noise you weren't expecting. Should you check on it or should you not? I heard a noise. Is everything okay? Uh, I just dropped this plastic bucket thing. I heard a noise. Is everything okay? I've fallen and I can't get up. In a previous video, I talked about the principle that I called, which mistake would you rather make? And I said that it was, a, it was a great way to decide should I or should I not situations. And, and, and illustrated in these, these two um, little scenes, um, it's very clear that, that when you ask the question, that answer is oftentimes just revolutionary. It's like, oh yeah, absolutely should carry my camera bag into the store because I'm gonna roll it around the shopping cart and that's not gonna cost me anything. But if I leave in the car and it gets stolen, big mess. Should I check on the noise in the old dude's classroom or should I just walk on down the hall, you know? The, so sometimes it's very, very easy decision to make. Uh, should I put the cough drops in my camera bag just in case I need them? Because if I don't put them in there and I need them, then I'm gonna be like, what? Uh, no cough drops. But if I do put them in there and I carry them around all day, it's like, well, that's like three ounces I shouldn't have been carrying. The consequences of, of putting them in and not needing them is so small, it's like, of course I'm gonna put cough drops in. On the other hand, it gets really complicated in human relationship situations. That person who you think has the wrong idea about your feelings, should you say something or should you not say something? So the question becomes, should I say something when I didn't need to, which is going to lead to a very awkward and strange situation, or should I not say anything and potentially lead this other person on as if you know, something is going on between us? Should I say something when I don't need to say it, or should I not? See, because if you're, if, you, if you're friends with the person and you have the wrong idea about them having the wrong idea, then suddenly you've just made everything weird. You know, I, I, I just want to know that, you know, we're, I really don't have feelings for you that way. What? Feelings for me? No, I, no, I, didn't, I didn't have feelings for you. No, what? On the other hand, if that person does have feelings for you, see, it gets really complicated. In some cases, the, the consequences of doing this thing if it should have been done, the consequences of not doing it are so terrible that you cannot overlook. You, you have to, you have to. Um, whereas sometimes the consequences is like, nah, I'm not sure, this may or may not happen, and if it does happen, it may or may not be that bad. Sometimes you can, you can not take the action. This has literally been uh, a, a paradigm changer for me, this, this practice of asking the question. A lot of times it's trivial, but I'll run through it anyway. Should I brush my teeth or not brush my teeth? Well, that's two minutes of brushing my teeth versus the consequences of having bad breath or whatever, whatever. Can I afford those two minutes? Most of the time I probably can't. Trivial, but sometimes it's like, 
we haven't heard from this person in a long time. Should I, should I try to reach out to him on Facebook? This actually happened. There's a guy that I kind of lost, fell off the social social media radar in my in my realm, and I knew he was friends with another guy, and I hadn't heard from this first guy for months and months and months. And uh, so I reached out to this other guy. I was like, "Hey, have you heard from?" And he was like, "Yeah, I just heard from him last week." I would much rather annoy the guy in Nashville to find out about the guy in Alabama rather than never finding out about the guy in Alabama and then learning like years later that something happened. So nothing happened, those are, you know. So that's it, it, it it's, a, it's a great principle. Sometimes it leads to these awkward moments, sometimes it leads to phenomenally important decisions. I hope this is helpful, uh, try it. Try it the next time that you have, have a situation and, uh, and, and see what happens. Let me know what it works out. Leave me a comment. Uh, please, if you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave me a comment like I just said, and I'll see you in the next video.